It's going to take a while to get his leveled up, if I remember correctly, so we'll just keep plugging away. Okay, go into town. Who's here today? Alright, Yukiko's here. I said I would hang out with Yukiko next, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Tatsuhime Shrine. Yukiko brought you here, saying she wanted to pay her respects. Are you gonna wish for something too? Uh... For everyone. I see. So like you. Yukiko looks happy. I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the inn, too. I know this is only rank 9, so it's weird that it's voice acted. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Oh, right, this is the romance choice one. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Let's begin our prayer. She's gonna gloss over that extremely romantic thing she said. Or is she supposed to have whispered I've that as an aside? To leave Inaba. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. Because you were always by my side. Yukiko is smiling gently. Yukiko's determination makes her look more mature. The Yukiko Amagi social link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Priestess Arcana has grown. Yukiko's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yukiko can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Um, I wanted to ask you this before. Um, why? Why are you always with me? Is it okay? For me to ask so this is again we have to choose whether we're going to date yukiko or not um i think at this point in the game i've decided what i'd like to do is have you date rise because like i was saying uh she will flirt with you no matter what and i think it makes the overall story much better if it's because the two of them are in a relationship rather than rise just flirting with him you know even though he's dating somebody else and that kind of makes her seem less likable. And that's not to say I don't like Rise. I think she's one of my favorite characters. Uh, and she grows on you a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and say because she's my friend, I think that no matter what you do, if you don't actually start a relationship with Yukiko, she seems a little sad and you feel a little guilty about it, but she's fine by the next social link. So I'm hanging out with you because you are my friend. I'm sorry, you're Yukiko. I see. <sighs> yes, precisely. Oh, I just remembered. I have an errand to run. I'll be going now. I'm sorry! Yukiko ran off. You decided to go home. Welcome back! I can work as a janitor. Alright, I'm gonna go clean my soul while having been slightly mean to Yukiko. Ugh, this is so much work. Why can't she just level up? So many nights cleaning the hospital. This will be the cleanest room in the hospital. Especially this one corner of this one desk.
Didn't even get the next time you'll level up message. Okay, August 11th. Rainy. No social links. But I refuse to give up. I'm going to try. Maybe I'll find someone who wants to hang out with me even though it's raining. Why does everyone abandon me when it rains? All right, I guess I'll hang out with the capsule machine or go into the Shiroku store. I didn't mean to do that. Let's turn the dial. Chest key and something else. I don't really use the items, but it makes the afternoon pass, so. Welcome home, and I use, I use the cheat, the chest keys. I can work as a tutor or the hospital. I guess I'm going to go to the hospital and try and get that to the next stage of leveling up, since I didn't get the message last time. And my headphone volume control thing just fell off my desk. Hang on. Ta-da! It's fixed. To the hospital! Okay, it's still raining. Um, I suppose I will just go straight to the capsule machines unless somebody's in the way. Anybody? Hang out with me! No! Stupid capsule machines. Dry ice and some chest keys. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Uh-oh. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Guess I'm watching the Midnight Channel. It's midnight. The fog has definitely set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. You wonder what happened to Mitsuo Kubo after the police took him away. Fog is covering the town. Surprisingly, no daytime event after the Midnight Channel viewing. So I guess we'll go out and hang out and see who's around. say um what's my rank with marie mm. all right i'm gonna hang out with Rise today <laughs> the flavor was a little strong but it was good 
My grandma's food is kind of bland, so... I mean, tofu's good for you, but... I butchered that lie. <laughs> there is a suspicious man in front of Rise's house. Oh. Is that a reporter? Or a, a stalker? Rise is worried. Uh, grab her hand and run. Uh, that's alright. We don't know if he's really dangerous or not. Well, let's just wait and see, okay? But, thanks for that. Rise no longer seems worried. Hmm, but still. That guy. Where have I... No way! Inoue-san, is that you? Rise-chan! Why are you here? I already settled everything with the agency. I'm, I'm here because, personally, I can't accept that. I've watched over you this entire time as your manager. I'm no longer a personality. My private time doesn't belong to a manager anymore. Go home. If you don't, I'll call the police. Wait. Could you just think it over? I strongly believe that no other actress can play that role better than Risei Kujikawa. Your fans were looking forward to the movie, too. You still want me to act? Huh? Anyway, I'm through with it. I have nothing to do with showbiz and all that stuff now. I... I've decided to marry this man once we graduate high school. You know, I know she's bluffing, but with the way you're acting, I don't think that it would be a far stretch to believe that's what's in your mind. I've said before it was only a hiatus, but I've changed my mind. There's no way I'm coming back. You sees the real me. He's so gentle. Risei is desperate. Go along with her. You went along with her story. Uh, see? I told you. Risei looks relieved. I understand. I'll go home. For today. But I... Go away! Now! Um... Uh, that was Inoue-san. He was my manager. I'm like his daughter's age, so he treated me like one of his family. But he's a stranger now. Senpai, um... I'm sorry, Senpai. Lying about marrying you and all. Uh... <laughs> this is funny, I'm just gonna say this. It... it was a lie? Huh? Was it a lie? Oh, Senpai. Wow. Somewhat at a loss, Rise is smiling sheepishly. I just like being able to put her off guard for once. You really are a nice guy. This isn't good. I feel like I'm gonna depend on you even more. <laughs> just kidding. Perhaps due to relief, Rise is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship has grown deeper. Rank 4. Third eye. Awesome. I wish I could spend more time with you, but I'll save it for next time. See you later, senpai. You watched Rise walk in and went home. Oh, Adachi's here. Oh, what a great spread! I've never seen so many pieces of fatty tuna. Well, if you're gonna have a celebration, you can't do it halfway. Celebration? Ah, it's about this. Watch. I didn't care who it was. I was pissed off. I wanted to be famous. The suspect was often heard saying these things. The young suspect has confessed to being the culprit behind the recent cases, but he's shown no remorse so far. Because of several inconsistencies in the boy's deposition, some have called for a mental examination to be carried out. Until then, the police will be continuing their investigation to shed light on all the prior incidents. 
It was actually really tough to make a case out of this. All we had was the suspect's confession and some circumstantial evidence. But the lab found the perp's prints on the victim's clothes, so we made it stick after all. Man, isn't crime scene investigation something? Who would have thought you could get viable prints from cloth? There's no more scary stuff to worry about. You're safe now. Uh-huh. Man, that guy was twisted. <laughs> You're telling me. A high schooler committing multiple murders and leaving the bodies like that. He was over the edge. Good thing we caught him. Now I can stop seeing suspects in every shadow. If the killer was still on the loose. Enough, Adachi. If you keep running your mouth, the sushi's gonna dry up. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Come on, everyone. Eat up. Well, since you asked... <laughs> oh, I could go for some sushi. Huh? You don't like sushi, Nanako-chan? There's wasabi in it. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell him to hold the wasabi. Here, I'll take it off for you. Which one do you want? Hmm? Halibut. Excellent taste, Nanako-chan. <laughs> As for me, I'll go for sea urchin. Hey, there's only one of those. Too late. First come, first <laughs> It's been a while since dinner has been this lively. Mitsuo confessed his crime and was apprehended. You wonder if the incidents will end now. The summer festival will begin soon. Oh yeah, we are going to that, aren't we? Okay, Chie wants to hang out. Oh no, she says uh, she ran into Yosuke at Juness. He said he was really in a bind because he didn't have enough employees working at Juness. He's probably going to come to you and beg for you to rescue him. He'll be all, you gotta save me from this chaos, you... I feel kind of sorry for him, so I'm going to help him out this week. You're welcome too, Yukun. Chie hung up. Maybe you should help out at Juness. Uh, maybe, but uh, first I need to go do something else outside today. No, get off this table. Come on, let's go outside. Um, I'm going to check and see maybe if Marie is available, and if not, then I'll hang out with um, maybe Hisano. All right, good. Marie's available. I want to rank that one up. Huh? Yes, let's go somewhere. Let's go. Today, we're going to Juness. I've got some change, so there's something I want to see. You decided to take Marie to Juness. Juness Food Court. You decided to come here for a rest after taking Marie out. thirsty. I want something to drink. Something that isn't sweet and not water. Sensei! Welcome! Oh! Who's this girl? Oh. Is she your skirt? You're quite the naughty boy, aren't you? What the heck are you talking about? What the heck is this thing? It's moving. Gross. What? How rude! How can you say that about cute little moi? And it talks. What's it made out of? Ahem! This teddy is 50% kindness by volume! Huh? Well, what about the other half? Teddy fur! <laughs> kindness and fur? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hey! It's you and Marie-chan. What you up to this time? Taking a tour of Juness? <laughs> well, if that's what you're doing, I'm just the man you need. Welcome to Juness, Yaso Inaba branch. Uh-huh. I don't need a tour. I already saw it. Whoa! Yosuke got denied! Shut up. It's nothing like that. Yo. Yosuke-senpai, you know that CD I was asking about? Oh, who's this? Oh, who's this old-timer? Old-timer? Uh, Akanji isn't that old. Yeah, he's younger than we are, I guess. 
<laughs> what the? What kind of defense is that? Kanji, what are you yelling about? I thought you came to talk with Yosuke-sen. Oh. Oh, Senpa. <laughs> Whoa. Senpai, who is this girl? What's she doing with you? I know this person. I heard about her from Margaret. Someone even I can't handle. Oh, that's about right. That's not how it goes. It's something even I can handle. <laughs> oh, it's the, the commercial. <laughs> I, was, I thought she was saying that Margaret couldn't handle Rise. I got you. That's not so different. Yes, it is. Gee. Yosuke-senpai, what's with this girl? Me? Uh, he, she's Marie-chan. You's mate. Mate? No what? Way. Mate? Sorry, I think I just added fuel to the fire. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? Hey! Oh, everyone's here. Huh? Oh, Marie chats with you too. Hello. Hmm. Senpais, you know her? We had fun together the other day, right, Marie chan I don't recognize you. Which high school are you from? Wait, you're even younger than me. Which middle school are you from? Middle school? What's that supposed to mean? You're pretty rude, old timer. Hey! <laughs> Why do you keep calling me old? You know, I don't know much about her either. How old are you, Marie Chen? Where do you live? You here on vacation? I don't. I don't remember. Yosuke, you're scaring the poor girl! Yes, yeah, Senpai, not very subtle of you. What? Not very subtle of you. I have no idea what he's talking about. Hey, you brought it up. Wait, what? What did you just say? Subtle? Did you think the word subtle is pronounced subtle? Kanji's got a subtle. <laughs> Shut up! Quit talking about my butt! Gee. Oh. Why did you make me think about your butt? You were the most unsubtle person ever! The unsubtle subbuttle! <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got Marie to laugh. Poor Kanji. <laughs> you spent time with your friends and Marie. After everyone was done hanging out, they went home. Those were funny people. I don't get them. They're loud and stupid. <laughs> so stupid. So buttle. <laughs> Despite her complaints, Marie appears to be enjoying herself. You feel you've grown closer to Marie now. Rank 5. Did they all face their true selves? I see. I see. Oh, there you go. Um. I was thinking, maybe I should work on trying to get my memory back. Well, one of these days. They look like they're having fun. I want to be like that. I'll help. Please do. I don't know what to do. You decided to help Marie search for her memory. I'm not asking you to help right now, but when the time comes, I'm going to count on you. Let's go home now. Oh, but let's go by the river on the way. Well, see ya. You make small talk with Marie as you escort her back to the Velvet Room. Welcome back. Oh, hey! Dejima's here for the first time in like a month. Let's hang out with him. Oh. Uh, he's gonna give me some cash. 40,000 yen for having a good grade, alright. Let's just spend some time with him. Still not close for a level up. Man, we're close to the end of that link, so I guess that makes sense. The summer break continues. Oh no, Chihei warned me. 
Sorry for dropping this off on you all of a sudden, but I need a big favor. Can you work at Juness from today till Friday? We're short on staff. I'll pay you more than we usually pay our workers. I'll buy you lunch every day at work, too. I promise. Please, I'm begging you. Yosuke seems desperate. All right, sure, fine, I'll do it. All right. You're awesome, buddy. A real lifesaver. I'll be waiting for you at Juness, so I'll see you soon. Yosuke hung up, and you decided to work at Juness until Friday. Yep, so I lose a couple days, but even if you say no, we have to do this. <laughs> Why are there so many people here just for the hero show? This is so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if you weren't here, you. Welcome! We've got shaved ice here with all your favorite flavors. Cheer on the heroes while enjoying a tasty snack of frosty shaved ice. Mm. Ugh, it's so hot today. Teddy's keeping up a good pace. You help Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. You became closer to everyone. What the heck is Teddy doing back there? <laughs> oh yeah, good news. All us girls have our scooter licenses now. We're still getting the hang of riding them, but a little more practice and we'll be good to go. Then we need to finish helping out here first. Let's pick up the pace. You worked hard at Juness. And we zoom ahead to Friday. After the, after the days of hard labor and the blistering heat, Teddy seems to be slowing down. Welcome, everyone! Beat the heat and eat some meat! Yaniku! Yanik! Yakik! Yakik! Yakiniku! Why was that so hard for me to say? Yakiniku! Grilled steak! Ginger pork! Chow down and restore the energy the brutal summer days have taken from you! <laughs> Try our tender, delicious beef! <laughs> Poor Teddy. Man, Teddy is really dedicated, isn't he? I'm melting in this short sleeve shirt, and he's wearing that huge costume and standing in front of the griddle. How does he do it? You helped Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. And we get more relationship points. Oh, cool. Hey, tomorrow's the summer festival, remember? Meet us at the shrine tomorrow night, okay? Today is the last day you had to help Yosuke. You earned 40,000 yen. Nice. Uh, can I go out? Nanaka gave me a paper armband for getting a good grade. Cool. Uh, I gotta go back to my room and sleep. No choice. The summer festival begins today. You're supposed to meet up with friends. Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. Haven't seen the reporters around either. They sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some Mikiyaki. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Get some too, Kanji. What's ikayaki? Uh, should I be concerned that I just basically said exactly what Teddy said? Apples on sticks. Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner. Or... Whoa! Isn't that them? Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. Uh, you look cute in it. <laughs> Nanako seems happy. Nanachan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. Um. <laughs> Thank 
Yeah. Okay. How do we look, Senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? Uh, you look great in it, Risei. Mm, that's looked out so naturally. Perhaps you're used to saying things like that? <laughs> well, I'm still happy to hear it. Risei seems happy. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? D that ain't it! <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after her. They bought me cotton candy. That's cotton candy? It's as big as she is. Man, we are good friends. I guess I'm her cousin. Whatever. We're awesome. Did they now? All right, then. You want to go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me? <laughs> uh -huh. Let's go. I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Okay. Hmm, a summer festival. Hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. Where did you learn these things? You didn't even know the concept of film, and now you're writing your own porn films. What kind of tagline is that? <laughs> we gotta go two by two. Rawr. Two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. Dude, this shrine is, like, not even as big as somebody's front yard. We should couple well, maybe it's bigger while than we're that, here. But... It's the natural way of things. What the hell are you babbling about? Okay, I can't help but notice, but the only person that didn't get, like... Sweat emojis over their head was Rise. I'm with Teddy. Oh, naturally. Come on, Senpai. Why wear Yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? So we should pair off right away. Rise. What a terrifying girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine, too. Oh, well, what I mean is, uh, count me in. <laughs> All right, you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, All right. Three guys and three girls. What should we do? Oh, there are four three of us. Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? Oh, me, him, and Kanji makes three. <laughs> what? You did that on purpose. <laughs> um, should I really do this? Oh yeah, you can barely look at him. No way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Rise-chan for my partner. So you just want to go out with everybody? That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we got to pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this. That's right, Kanji. This is serious business. And you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. What? Okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. Come on, Kanji. You can see through this blatant manipulation, can't you? <sighs> now no one will be left out. Y yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy. You said it. Oh, come on. Okay, count me out. Dude, come on, don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. You bear snake. I just couldn't let that happen. 
What? You little... <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. I'm right here! Rise! I don't want to do this! <laughs> oh well, let's go then. <sighs> we fail, huh? An epic fail. with this hey Ted hands off my corn <laughs> that was a strange statement Teddy, you got ketchup on my yukata maybe this wasn't a bad idea after all <laughs> we've successfully cemented Teddy as an idiot in everybody's minds Hello, senpai. It's me, Rise. Hey, you know that festival at the shrine's going on tonight, too, right? Want to go again with me? Just the two of us this time, of course. I want it to be a special memory just the two of us share. Don't you? Come on, let's go! Um, actually, I'm going to accept this one because the shrine date is important for points for social links. I'll meet you in front of the shrine. Plus, if I am going to date Rise, it makes sense that I would go to the shrine with her. And this is despite Teddy. Tatsuhime Shrine. Mobile stalls are lined up from yesterday. It's just the two of us. I kind of wanted you to pick me in front of everyone else yesterday. I tried! But there were so many of us and Teddy was there, so I knew it was impossible. I'm glad you see through him. <laughs> well, it's nice that we get to come here twice then, for the memories. Yeah, and the candied apples. Come on, let's go. First, we have to make a wish, though it'll be the second time I do it. What are you going to wish for? Uh, to become closer to you. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> I bet we're both thinking of specific things on how to achieve this. I might have bigger, bolder plans than you. I'm afraid. <laughs> Rise smiles mischievously. You made your wishes together. Hmm? Young lady. Aren't you that girl on TV? I get that a lot. Sorry, it's not me. A real idol couldn't walk around in public with a boy like this. Ah, so I got all excited for nothing. Oh well, how about a candied apple then? One for your boyfriend, too. <laughs> so people do think you're my boyfriend. What should we do? Want one each? Or do you want to share one? No, that sounds like it'd be really hard to eat. All us vendors are handing out lottery tickets. You can turn them in for a chance to draw a prize at the Turi over there. <laughs> what? That sounds fun. Well then, I want two candied apples. Coming right up. Let's go look at the other stands after we're done eating, senpai. A konomiyaki, huh? When I got one yesterday, it was huge, so I gave most of it to Teddy. Oh, but today you're here. Let's share one for real this time. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. I don't have very good memories with fish. I used to have guppies in my room before, but I was too busy to take care of them. Oh, but I'm sure they'll give us lottery tickets for playing, right? We can always just catch and release. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Lottery tickets. All right, then. It's one draw per person. Let me go get it. Well, then why did we collect all these tickets if I it's only one I'll per get. person? I hope I can get something super weird so I can remember the day I got it. It's actually kind of a cool outlook on this. Now, close your eyes and draw your prize. You drew one ticket. Wow, amazing. Both of you won. The girl got fourth place. So, a cell phone strap. Oh, wow. Rise got a cell phone strap. <laughs> what is this character? It's so ugly. Uh, wait, these clothes. My tour costume last year looked like this. Wait, 
is this? Oh no! <laughs> the boyfriend has sixth place, a book. Okay. You obtained a book called The Divine Way. Was this written by the people at the shrine? <sighs> we saw a lot. Hey, Senpai. Honestly, you had other invitations today, didn't you? Even if you didn't, I I'm didn't. sure there were girls who were thinking about inviting you. So, thank you for coming with me today. Well, see ya. I hope we can come again next year. Sounds like a date. You parted with Risei and decide to go home. Okay. Let's make the most of our summer break by going to work at daycare. <laughs> oh, I'm walking past the daycare sign. Ugh, still no level up. Come on. I'm trying here. You helped out at the daycare center. Money! Hooray! You're back. Alright, let's hang out with Tajima. Come on. Let's level this up soon, at least. We're so close to the end. We're like eight or nine. I can't remember. Ugh! Oh. 